I am concerned about you. This is what they do, they barely miss it. <laughs> from our little private dock here in Venice. We're out here on the Grand Canal, starting our morning, I guess way later than the rest of Venice. There's already a ton of boats out. The gondolas are going. People are enjoying the views. So are we, you guys, this place is, honestly, I feel like it's just magical. We've got something very exciting today. We are going to go learn how to do something the true Venetian way. So make sure you guys stick around. It's going to be an exciting day. All right, you guys, we are with Row Venice today. We're going out on this boat right here. We got our Captain Elena there. She's gonna be showing us how to do this thing like a Venetian. This is gonna be rad. She is actually quite a pro, you guys. She competes in competitions, so we have a legit teacher here with us. She's gonna teach <laughs> us the true Venetian way to row a gondola boat. This Let's is gonna do this. be nuts. She's legit, you guys. <laughs> Me, however, <laughs> I've done a tiny little rowboat on a little man-made pond in Romania, so here yeah. we go. Well, after today, you're gonna after be- After today, I'm gonna be a pro. She's gonna ask for me to be on our team. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna see. <laughs> okay, here I go. Can you touch the bottom? Oh, whoa. <laughs> Very deep. Okay, right foot. Oh, I accelerate now. Oh! Shelly's is the power plant here. She's providing all our forward thrust at the moment. I think she's doing a lot more work than no, She's back there. She says she's just steering. Shell thinks she's paddling, but... <laughs> <laughs> This is awesome, guys. This canal is nice and wide, so you know you don't have to worry too much about running into anything. Yeah, but I've already hit my oar on plenty of things. <laughs> she told us it's actually all in the legs, and here I thought that it was all upper body. But you just rock back and forth like you're walking. Uh oh, I don't want to hit this boat. I'm supposed to bring this in. I don't want to hit this boat either. Got a lot of obstacles here. <laughs> Venice is tight quarters. Okay, so do this. I feel yeah. like she's moving us. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> it's all she's you. She's not gonna ask me to be on her team. Well, not yet. You still have another hour to get it. <laughs> accelerate and push. Pull it out, go flat, accelerate, go in and push. So you're missing the sights. I can't look at any sights. I have to concentrate. They definitely have like a special technique to rowing that's not like you'd use in a rowboat. I'm gonna learn it next. I think Shell's got it down pretty good though. If I concentrate really hard. You just have to stare at your paddle. Yeah. <laughs> Forward. <laughs> we got all the people watching. We have a lot of people watching. We're doing everything wrong right now. We're just gonna paddle us out of here. Yeah, just go, just go. This kind of was a little bit busier than the last one. Right, got my confidence back. Do you? Yeah, I do. I was really curious how they steer the boat because generally the gondoliers is just a one-man thing and he has one paddle in the water. But she was showing us that if you put your paddle straight down, you get more just forward motion. And then you could just like put your paddle in certain angles to give you drag to turn right or you know just paddle with some power to turn left. So like you can do it all just with the one paddle there in the back. And she's good. She's like she was showing us how to row fast and you can feel the boat just thrusting forward with each yeah. stroke of her paddle. She's really good. I'm not gonna get there today. You're but. good too Daniel. You're good too. It's okay. I'm good at other things like sleeping. <laughs> Eating carbonara, those kind of things. These little things where we put our paddles are called the porcola. And they're a really weird shape. You kind of wonder how the heck did they come up with that shape. But they've been rowing these boats for over a thousand years. And in that time, they've been able to develop the optimal shape for rowing these boats. They have like different positions on them for whatever the driver needs. If they need to be rowing hard, rowing close to the boat, if they're in something really narrow or something wide, they can change the position of the oar and still be able to operate the boat. <laughs> I just hit a boat. 
<laughs> Engineering iteration right there. Coming up with the perfect thing over thousands of years. If only you could invent something like that. Forcula? You think I could improve upon their forcula? <laughs> I think they got it. I think they got it. I don't think they're gonna be making a change anytime soon. <laughs> the shape or design. I am concerned about you. You hit your head on a lot of things. I do hit my head on a lot of things. <laughs> this is what they do, they barely miss it. Barely. <laughs> okay, so I want to power us forward. So that means you go low, right? I need to step down. <laughs> We're really moving. There's the idea. We got a lot of momentum behind There's us. There's the idea. That's the idea. <laughs> Okay, bend your knees. We got some waves. I'm forgetting all my techniques. <laughs> yeah. We got Shelly in back position here. This is a little bit harder than it looks. Actually, it's a lot harder than it looks. I have mad respect for people that do this. I know, you look really cool back there though. Do I? Yeah. <laughs> all right, Shelly. Okay, here we go. She's gonna tackle this bridge. <laughs> <laughs> you look so unsure. <laughs> I was too. Sorry. Bless it. <laughs> I'm holding up traffic. All right, we got Elena back there on the paddle. I feel much safer well, we're with her back now. there. I feel like we're in a motorboat right now. <laughs> and she's taking these tight turns and not hitting a thing. I did that for 30 seconds and my shoulder feels like it's gonna fall <laughs> off. My back hurts. <laughs> I know, I feel like we're generally pretty fit I individuals. Feel like I'm a fit Both of our right shoulders, though, are kind of sore. I think our technique was no, a little No, my left off. shoulder hurts. Oh, gosh. We're, we're definitely doing this wrong. We're definitely doing it wrong. But that was fun. How cool to paddle a gondola on the Venetian canals here. You can't do that anywhere else in the world. No, definitely not. <laughs> Only in Venice if you want to do a Venetian canal. <laughs> We just jumped off our boat down there. That was, that was quite honestly the really cool. First of all, it's way harder than I was expecting. These guys that are out here doing this, they make it look so easy. And our teacher slash captain slash pro over here, Elena. Not me. Not here. No, sorry, <laughs> you're not. But you're a pro of many other things. She like does this in competitions out in this bay. She makes it look so easy. Oh, and she's you guys, good. it's not easy. Like the amount of times that my paddle came out of that little hook thing, it was like every stroke it popped out am i bent over to oh gosh oh she said with like five lessons you can basically start going out on your own i think you'd be able to do it if you lived here daniel was like made a joke that if we did it our gondola would go into a t and block the entire canal i think you could bet on that happening if we went out on our own <laughs> That was rad though, guys. If you do visit Venice and you want a very cool, very unique experience, definitely check out Row Venice. Come row your own gondola in the canals here. We'll put a link in the description so you can find them and book your own trip. We've seen this place around in a couple places here in Italy and we decided to finally come here in Venice. It's called La Prosciutteria and it looks fantastic. I got a charcuterie board of sorts with meats, cheeses, breads, jams, seasonal fruits, burrata. Couldn't even tell you everything that's on this sucker. And Shell got this beautiful looking pear salad. I'm gonna go ahead and share these things. I'm very excited about this. This smells incredible. Let's just sample it right now. Ready? Just a little piece of meat. We you know, like three different kinds of meats, three different kinds of cheeses. This is gonna be great. If you ever have the chance to order burrata, you gotta order it. It's the best cheese in the world. We got a nice little ball right here. Oh. Open her up. Mm -hmm. It's so milky. Back in St. Mark's Square here. There's some shopping around Venice. I had no idea. I didn't either. They've got some bougie shops here. Somehow we just stumbled upon the fancy row of Venice. And it was pretty fancy. But we found Zara. 
I needed some new socks. We took care of that here in Venice. We made out big with some new socks for Daniel. <laughs> Which I'm excited about. <laughs> all of his socks have holes in them and they shed all over our apartment. Yeah, they're shedding everywhere. It's kind of gross. So we're throwing them away, replacing them with some new ones before we move on from this beautiful country. We found out where you put your boat in the water, I think. And I take a break. Have, yeah, and take a break. We passed over this little canal that was actually kind of little and it was just filled with gondolas. The way that they were like maneuvering those things around and sliding into these tiny little open like parking spaces essentially I was blown away I definitely would not be allowed down that canal by myself in my own gondola no way I thought it was a traffic jam at first but then I realized they're like all tied off to each other some of them are yeah. taking naps yeah, they in their were, like, gondola laying, sleeping. just hanging out taking a break that was funny though people were hopping in and out at that point also but it was just like I mean that was like the canal of gondolas I mean they all have gondolas but that was like whoa yeah, that was intense. <laughs> that was cool. Well, our time, not only in Venice, but in Italy is drawing to a close, but we have one last hurrah. We're taking a water taxi to the airport. I think this is gonna be like maybe the highlight this of the trip. This might be the highlight. I think this is going to be really cool. We're standing out here waiting for our walk. Oh my gosh, there's a puppy on a boat. Oh. There's a puppy on the boat. <laughs> We're standing out here waiting for our water taxi. He's eight minutes late. We're not quite sure where he is, but hopefully he shows up soon. <laughs> I know, he's gonna grab us right here from our dock. Pretty incredible, the water taxi ride here, I would say was definitely one of the most fun things that we did in Agreed, Venice. agreed. And so we're stoked to take the water taxi all the way straight to the airport. How incredible is that? We got all our stuff packed up here in the corner. There it is, waiting for our man to show up. Back out on the Grand Canal in a water taxi. This is my favorite part. Our water taxi to our Airbnb and our water taxi to the airport. I think they've been my favorite part so far. Oh, it's so rad. This thing is huge, guys. The water taxis are massive. The driver's like way up front and then they have this huge interior area, which we don't even bother with. We have our backpacks in there, but we don't, <laughs> we come straight to the back. There's a little bench on the back and then a platform there, but pretty nuts, guys. This is so much fun. We're going down this little canal right here. All right, bridge number one. Do I need to duck? I don't know. He's not ducking, so I'm not ducking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's a little low. <laughs> Driving one of these big water taxis in these smaller canals is- It's gotta be so hard. Definitely gotta be a lot harder than the gondola. I don't know how they do this. They're good. I think driving boats is kind of hard. I love it. This is cool. I thought we were gonna shoot out the Grand Canal to the lagoon and go straight to the airport, but we're going down this smaller side canal I love to it. get out to the lagoon. It must be fast. A little bit faster. of traffic. A little bit of traffic. We got some boat traffic this morning. It's kind of awesome though. I mean, think about it. You got your rush hour traffic. You know, you're just in the car, on the freeway, on the roads, whatever. Literally, there's just boat traffic here in Venice. You gotta watch out for boat. Times get delayed. Like, it's just crazy. Bridge. The boats have to stay in like this one lane and they're coming back and forth just like normal traffic on a road. You got that side, the boat's going that way, and these this way. And there's a ton of wakes here like doubling up, getting super high. <laughs> this is gnarly guys. You gotta be a talented, confident driver driving Venice. And like that, 20 minutes later, we're pulling right up to the airport. The <laughs> runway is right there. We just saw a plane land. I think that was for sure the a Venice coolest, highlight. Yes, the coolest taxi ride we've ever taken in our lives. From the dock of our Airbnb to the runway in 20 minutes by boat. Like, this is so cool. Oh I gosh. love Venice. That was awesome.
Welcome to London.